Hey folks, what's going on? Armin Hammer here, day three of Wadapalooza, and uh, you know, you can probably hear it in the background here, but things are still going wild out here. There's still another event before it's all said and done, and before we get to all of that, I wanted to talk a little bit about what I've learned about the programming here at Wadapalooza Miami. Now, if you watched my video from this morning, you saw that I had kind of given you guys a good idea of what Ben Smith was referring to in his Instagram post, and he was kind of talking about the idea that the events at Wadapalooza Miami have been presented as workouts that are programmed by specific coaches like Hinshaw programming the swimming double under skier workout or uh, comp train programming one of the workouts or deca comp programming one of the workouts or misfit programming one of the workouts and the potential conflict of interest here is that those coaches have athletes that are competing at this very event and some of them competing for money some of them competing for spots at the games and that that could be really bad so I talked to a bunch of people who know exactly what's going on here and I think I've gotten to the bottom of it so the collective was actually a thing and those coaches did come together to program what was the Wadapalooza online qualifier they all helped out it wasn't just that one coach wrote one workout of the qualifier they all worked together in order to write every one of the workouts in that qualifier however for Wadapalooza Miami, it actually worked very differently. The coaches were siloed from one another, so they didn't know what any of the other coaches were asked to do, and they were given individually sort of like an inspiration. For example, Chris Hinshaw was told, I want you to write me a workout with swimming. So he wrote a workout with swimming because they knew, the organizers knew that they wanted to use a Hinshaw workout for swimming. So Hinshaw writes a workout for swimming, he comes back with that workout, they look at it and they basically ask him for more versions of these workouts. Use these equipments instead of those equipments. Use this amount of space instead of that amount of space. And in the end, Hinshaw has provided, say, five, six, seven different variations of these workouts. Some of them wildly different from others. The team at Wadapalooza took those workouts and each one of the coaches that they participated in this process, not all of the coaches who they asked actually did participate in the process, but each one of the ones that did participate in this process gave a lot of different variations of these workouts. And what the, uh, what the organizers at Wadapalooza Miami did is they took these workouts and they sort of made them into their own. So the workouts that you're seeing occur on the stage were not literally written by any of those coaches. I think the closest one in my mind would probably have to be the one from Street Parking because that's got Miranda and Julian written all over it. But the rest of the workouts are probably massively different. In fact, not just probably, I have confirmation. They are massively different from what was given to them. So essentially the process involved Wadapalooza asking these coaches to program around a specific thing, whether it was a time domain or a movement or a piece of equipment. Those coaches came back to them with multiple variations using those little nuggets. And then Wadapalooza Miami took that information and turned it into the workout that you see here. Now, a couple things are important to note here. They absolutely could not have used the exact workouts as written for most of these workouts just because of the pure logistics involved. When you have such tight confines in which the competition has to take place, it's really challenging for someone who is not here constantly working here day in and day out, testing the workouts within those confines to actually make it work on the competition floor. When you're planning an event to the minute, it's really, really hard to rely on somebody who hasn't had to do that before to write the right workout for you. So there had to be adjustments made there to begin with. On top of that, what you're seeing here when you say programmed by is really a marketing thing, which in my opinion is a bit of a misled marketing thing. I don't, I don't think it's a great idea to sort of like misappropriate who is responsible for what workouts. You know, for some of these cases, the workouts were ap like not even in the same ballpark as who's attributed as programmed by. And so the team that actually had to take all these workouts and program them into that, you know, that's the team that was able to sort of put together the Wadapalooza Miami that we're seeing here. So I hope that helps clear up some of the issues here. However, that is specific to Wadapalooza Miami. There are and there will be other situations in which you know, there is definitely the appearance, at least the appearance, 
of, of some sort of conflict of interest. Which doesn't mean there is certainly a conflict of interest, but there's at least the appearance of a conflict of interest. And that is just going to be a factor of this strange new season that we have. It's going to get ironed out. People are going to start realizing what works and what doesn't, what's allowed and what isn't, and what's okay with the fans and the crowds, and what isn't okay with the fans and the crowds. And that is where you come in. If you see something like this happening and it strikes you as odd, if it doesn't pass the smell test, let us know. I'm, I'm here to help talk about and figure out what's going on with situations like that. And there's definitely a pressure that comes from someone who is in a media space talking about it that kind of sheds light on those situations. So, in short, thank you very much for watching, folks. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in our space that's easy to miss and really important. That is what I am here for. I'll see you guys next time.